Hello everyone and welcome once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time when we left off, we were at the throat of the world, ready to complete Alduin's Bane by reading the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. You have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven, Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. All right. So the Time Wound is just this little shimmer over here on the throat of the world. All we need to do is stand in it and read the Dragon Elder Scroll, at which point there will be a lengthy cutscene. I'll see you on the other side. Learn the Dragonrend shout from the Nord heroes. Completed. Read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. The Arsul Thursi Alduin Hukri. Today Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself, Golfo, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I no, will not need it. We will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. And there it is. We have learned mortal. And we've actually learned all three words of Dragon Rend. They just don't show up. The three words are mortal, finite, and temporary. And that is the Dragon Rend shout, so I will take it off the list. If I die today, 
Did it? Yes, the World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. So we'll pop back to the present. Completed, learn the Dragon Ren shout from the Nord heroes. Defeat Alduin. I read the Elder Scroll near the Time Wound and learned the Dragon Ren shout in a vision of the Nord heroes fighting Alduin in the distant past. Now I need to use Dragonrend to defeat Alduin in the present time. And Alduin is actually going to appear and fight us on the throat of the world along with Parthernax. Dragonrend, your voice lashes out at a dragon's very soul, forcing the beast to land. Pretty cool shout for that very reason. It does exactly that. It forces dragons to land. Now, we're about to fight Alduin for the first time. Parthernax will be helping us, but he doesn't really do much. Um, even with all of the expansions, Alduin is the most powerful dragon in the game. He clocks in at level... I forget what his level is, but it's higher than a legendary dragon. He is the toughest. You can only damage him when he's on the ground after being forced to land by Dragonrend. And uh, one other note... When he creates his unique storm call with the falling uh, rocks, you can actually get rid of that with clear skies. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between those two during the fight. Anyway, at our level it will still be, I think, pretty easy, but it's definitely going to be the second toughest fight in the game. Uh, Mirak is tougher, but all the same, here we go. I like this fight enough, I usually make a brand new anchor save so I can relive it. When we hit him, it forces him to land. So, yeah, that was pretty easy.
Completed. Completed Alduin's Bane. I read the Elder Scroll near the Time Wound and learned the Dragonrend shout in a vision of the Nord heroes fighting Alduin in the ancient pa in the distant past. When I returned from the vision, Alduin attacked me, and I used Dragonrend to bring him down and defeat him. So we can take Alduin's Bane off of our quest list. And we have started the Fallen. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the Throat of the World, he fled from me. I need to locate his lair so I can finish him off once and for all. Talk to Parthernax, or talk to Arngear, or talk to Esbern. We'll talk to Parthernax as soon as he lands. It's pretty straightforward since he's right here. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. This is not the final Krongra victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the half Kossayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, it was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Completed. Talk to Parthernax. Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. The Jarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Park. The Hopkosayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Fair enough. Sum Ark After I defeated Alduin on the top of the Throat of the World, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. I've learned that Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's palace in Whiterun, was once used to imprison a dragon. I need to persuade the Jarl of Whiterun to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. Before I do that, let me quickly see... If Arngear has any extra dialogue at this point. And I'll do the same for Esbern. Now at this point, when we go talk to the Blades, they'll give us a quest to kill Parthernax. 
and they'll refuse to work with us unless we do it. I don't ordinarily complete that quest. In fact, I usually avoid the blades from this point, so I don't even get it in my journal. But uh, I'll go talk to them. I won't be doing it. I like Parthenax. I think he's awesome, and I don't want to kill him. But be aware that the game, once you advance the main quest to this point, essentially forces you to choose between having the blades or the graybeards around to help you. Aldwin, we heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I'm going to try to capture a dragon if Balgroof will help me. Ah, Dragon's Reach. There are many difficulties, but I cannot think of a better plan. Although I fear the Jarl may not be easy to persuade. Remember, the way of the voice trains you for more than battle. Indeed, we believe that battle is the least of its uses. May the strength and truth of your voice serve you well. Breath and focus. Where has Alduin gone? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovereign God to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Sky, guard you. Well, there we go. Let's head out now and we'll go visit Esbern as well. I'm not sure if Esbern will talk to me right now and if he gives you the Parthenax quest a couple more steps down the line or if he's going to go ahead and do it, but... Regardless, we'll find out, so let's head to Skyhaven Temple. Ah. Well, yes, the blades I recruited. I almost forgot. I'm a blade. I'm gonna ask you to get out of the way. Dragonborn, what do you need? I certainly think at this point, uh, things are going to be significantly revamped. You'll notice a book over here. Let's see. I think we have read Effects of the Elder Scrolls. I'll check and see if there's actually anything new in here. Dragon Language, Myth No More. We've read that read those. Have we read Remanata? Yes. Okay. The Book of the Dragonborn, Atlas of Dragons. Atlas of Dragons is new. Let's read it and take it off the list. Atlas of Dragons 2E373 compiled by Brother Mathnan. Herein is recorded the list of known dragons, both living and dead, including those slain by the Dragon Guard since the time excuse me, since the time of its founding, as well as those slain in earlier ages where they can be identified. Unfortunately, only a few of the dragons slain by our Akaviri predecessors during the Crusade were recorded, and thus this list is sadly incomplete. Deceased by report, Naha Gleave. Local tales name him as the dragon buried in the mound west of Rorikstead. No date associated with his death, although almost surely dates to the Dragon War era. Odaving. Records dating to the crusade of interrogation of captured dragon cultists indicate that this dragon was buried in a mound in the southeast of Skyrim, near Riften. So remember, we saw Nahagleave getting resurrected and we killed him. Odaving we haven't seen. Salaknir. Local legends claim this is the dragon buried in the mound near Kynes Grove, slain by the Nord hero Jorg Helmbolg in the First Era, resurrected and re-killed. Vinturuth, death dating back to Dragon War era, according to documents recovered from dragon cult temples which record his burial near Lake Jorgrim, resurrected and re-killed. Vujatnak, Death dating back to Dragon War, or just after, according to recovered Dragon Cult documents, which record, record his burial in a mound near Granite Hill, also resurrected and re-killed. Slain by the Dragon Guard, Grokreen Drogue, 
Slain in 2E184 after perpetrating great slaughter in Winterhold and Eastmarch. Name confirmed with assistance from the college mages. Never seen him. Kroyot Dan. Slain in 1E2871 in the southern Gerald Mountains. Name confirmed by the dragon's own account. Haven't seen him. Unnamed dragons. Numbering 12 is recorded in the annals dating back to the founding of Skyhaven Temple. Known to live. Abilok. Sightings dating back to the early years of the Dragon Guard throughout the northern Geralds. Multiple attempts to kill him have failed. He is believed to be lairing somewhere in Morrowind. Never saw him. Mermelnir. Last sighted in the Reach in 2E212. He was the very first dragon we killed at the Western Watchtower. Nafalar. Repeated alliances with mortal protectors which have prevented his elimination. His last known protector was the King Casimir II of Wayrest, which the Dragon Guard successfully ended in 2E369. He escaped, and current location is unknown. Never seen him. Parthernax. The legendary Lieutenant of Alduin in the Dragon War. He is now known to lair on the throat of the world under the protection of the Greybeards of High Hrothgar. Master Arade continues the established policy of avoiding direct confrontation with the Greybeards while waiting for an opportunity to exact justice upon him. So there we go. Let's go chat with Esbern first. Did you find the Elder Scroll? What happened when you took it back to the throat of the world? I defeated Alduin, but he escaped. I need to find him. He must have returned to Sovereign feed on the souls of the dead. If you don't find him soon, he'll return stronger than ever. Don't worry, I have a plan. I'm going to trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. The Jarl's Anderson White Run? Ah, oh, yes. The old story about King Olaf's pet dragon. Jeez. Although, it might be difficult to persuade the Jarl to allow you to use his palace as a dragon trap. I'm sure you'll manage, though. If you can defeat the World Eater, surely sweet-talking the Jarl of Whiterun isn't beyond you. I'm afraid there's a further problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Hmm? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count for the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Started Parthernax. Kill Parthernax. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. He's the one who turned on Alduin and taught us all to shout, and you're a fucking idiot. Where has Alduin gone? Haven't you been listening to me? All the old tales agree that he has some means to travel to Soldengard himself. There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed his power. You must find his portal to Soldengard before he returns stronger than ever. About Parthenax. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War, crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Goodbye. I'll talk to Delphine, too. Delphine and Esbern have discovered that Parthenax was one of Alduin's chief allies during the ancient Dragon War. They refuse to give me any more help until I kill Parthenax. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. 
We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Yeah, you're an idiot too. Ah, there we go. So I guess we are done with the blades then. So let's head to Dragon's Reach. Now, interestingly, one of two things can happen at this point in the main quest. If you have not started the Civil War, or you have started it, but haven't gone any further than the Battle for Whiterun, you will trigger a quest called Season Unending, where everybody comes to a negotiation at High Hrothgar to negotiate a truce between the Legion and the Stormcloaks until Alduin is defeated and the main quest is over. If you have gone past the Civil War, if you've gone, um, excuse me, if you've advanced the Civil War far enough past the Battle of Whiterun that at least one hold government has switched control, then you're locked out of Season Unending and you have to finish the Civil War for the side you've chosen before you can finish the main quest. If, as is the case in this playthrough, the Civil War is already over, then nothing will happen and Balgroof will just let us do what we want immediately. So let's head to the Jarl's quarters, where Balgroof is no doubt holed up, and chat with him. Watch over your battles, friend. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city? when we've been working so hard to keep them out. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. <laughs> the world leader himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. Then, White Run will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Completed. Talk to the Jarl of White Run. Learn shout to call Odaving. I don't know yet, but I know some people who can probably help. Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business. Probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? We'll be ready. Don't worry. You do have a plan for actually luring a dragon into this trap, don't you? Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Amthor, and brought it back to White. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Alrighty. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. The Jarl of Whiterun has agreed to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. 
Now I need to find now I need some way to lure a dragon into the trap. Esbern or Parthenax might be able to help. Let me see if Esbern will teach me the shout or not. <laughs> I'm going to keep popping back to talk to the Blades until, in addition to actually giving me the quest, until they also really stop helping me. I don't think that's going to happen just yet. I think it'll be after this quest, and at that point it won't really matter, because I already did the Rebuilding the Blades quest, I already got the Dragon Infusion perk. All it means is I can't get the Dragon Slayer's Blessing from Esbern. And killing Parthenax isn't really that big a deal either. Arngear won't direct you to any words of power you're still missing. And you can't meditate on words of power with Parthenax. So with everything already done, it doesn't really matter. But so I make my decision based on lore for once. And... I think the blades are a bunch of fucking douche canoes. Come on now. Why is this taking so long? Did you need something? I need a way to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach. Any ideas? Interesting problem, hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. How does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, but it is written here in the scroll. Old Arahim, winged snow hunter, as I read it. And we learn the shout. Call dragon. Completed. Learn shout to call Odaving. See, look. Prepare trap for Odaving. Snow hunter wing. Odaving, hear my voice and come forth. I summon you in my time of need. So we'll take all three words of call dragon off the list. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. The Jarl of Whiterun has agreed to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Reach. I've learned to shout, which is the name of one of Alduin's allies, which excuse me, which should serve to bring him to the Dragon's Reach courtyard so I can trap him there. Then I can interrogate the dragon and learn the location of Alduin's lair so I can finish him off once and for all. You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. How can we lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach? Shout for Udavin from the Dragon's Reach courtyard. After that, it's up to you. There we go. Very good. My oath binds me, Dragonborn, until part... So... 
Let's go to the Throat of the World and chat with Parthernax. In circumstances like this, where I have multiple different ways to proceed, I like to get everybody's dialogue. Just for the sake of having it, really. Let's go chat with Parthenax. Dremulok, greetings. How can we lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach? Odaving will come to your challenge. Bozik, Krilot, he will not be able to resist your call. From the hill of the Dova itself, he will come. The Blades say you deserve to die. The Blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zingri forwut se suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Sum ark moram. I agree with you, Parthenax. You get to stay alive. Fuck the blades. We're heading to Dragon's Reach. And let's head inside. Let's go ahead and arm the, or prep the call dragon shout so it's ready. And let's tell Balgroof we're ready to go. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Completed. Prepare trap for Odaving. Absurd that you can be good sweethearts in this evil hole of a city. Call Odaving to Dragon's Reach. Okay, the text didn't change that time. So let's head out here. It's a pretty simple thing. We're ready when you are. Just head out here and use the shout. Oh, Let's get Dragon Rend ready. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? 
Completed. Call Odaving to Dragon's Reach. Defeat and trap Odaving. Okay. Here he comes. Sucks to be that guard. Here he comes. Steady. Steady now. Keep under cover until it's down. Oops. That was my bad. I just I straight up missed. Shit happens. There we go. And when he lands, we can just back up to lure him in. There's the trap. Bam. Completed. Defeat and trap Odaving. Interrogate Odaving. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. With the help of the Jarl of Whiterun, I've trapped the dragon Odaving in Dragon's Reach. Now to interrogate Odaving and learn the location of Alduin's lair so I can finish him off once and for all. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vazar. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie. None were yet ready to openly defy him. You were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Vindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlam. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Do you promise to serve me? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Grossis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. 
completed the fallen achievement unlocked the fallen started the world eaters eerie set out of being free so this is pretty straightforward complete the fallen 60 out of 75 80 percent so close dragon slayer complete dragon slayer all right so the fallen is done i'll take it off my quest list and we seem to be at an impasse then indeed or in brit Row. i cannot leave here until you defeat alduin which you cannot do without my help. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikankron? You will release me, Rolan, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? I'm still wondering if I can trust you. Zunitarodis. It was you that lured me here and took me prisoner. Vovalan Gramidol, I have done nothing to earn your distrust. You did try to trick me into letting you go. In our Orinu. And yet here I am, still your prisoner. You have reconsidered. You will release me, Rolan. If in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Yes, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gai Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. The Fallen. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. With the help of the Jarl of Whiterun, I've trapped the dragon Odaving in Dragon's Reach. Odaving revealed that Alduin's lair is located in the ancient temple of Skuldafen, which is only accessible by air. Odaving has offered to take me there in return for his freedom. The World Eater's Eerie. The captured dragon Odaving has revealed that Alduin has escaped to Sovngarde, the Nord Underworld, where he feeds on the souls of the dead. His portal to Sovngarde is located in the ancient dragon temple of Skuldafen, high in the Jeryl Mountains. The only way to reach it is to set Odaving free so he can fly me there. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dova King. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Barangar, very bad idea, even for you. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales, or a small amount of blood. To me, what are you doing back there? We can never rest easy, for Balgraf's enemies will not. I've got my eyes on him. Yeah. He has to run away. No one can doubt that you truly are Dragonborn. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to kill. Alright, let's talk to the guard up here. I can't believe that worked. Open the trap. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes, I'm sure. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Come on. Talk to Odaving. Completed. Set Odaving free. 
that text didn't change. So we can go finish, we can ride the Skuldafen and finish the main quest now, but I'm going to go finish Dawnguard first. Let's leave Odaving here, ready to fly us over. Let's fast travel to Darkfall Cave to meet up with Serana and track down Ariel's bow. We'll handle that starting in the next video. What now? What do you know about Ariel's bow? Not much. If, as far as I know, though, it's Ariel is the way I supposedly the bow draws its energy. In that part, I don't know. What Come with me. I thought you'd never ask. All right, let's head into the cave. And we will end this particular installment here. I know we're just short of an hour, but it'll be fine. You can see our quest marker and everything. And we will pick up here in Darkfall Cave with the search for Ariel's bow next time on Let's Play Skyrim. Until then, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider clicking an ad, liking, sharing, or subscribing, any or all of which really help me out. Regardless, please know that I really do appreciate the time you spend watching, and hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.